Hi guys, welcome back. So today, I'm gonna to be going over exactly what my stats were when I applied to pharmacy school. So this includes all the extracurricular activities that were on my resume and my GPA. So when I was applying to pharmacy school, I personally spent countless hours pouring over the student doctor network forms to see why this person got accepted, what this person's stats were, and what made this person better than the next and what increased their chances of getting in. I do not recommend doing that. It was incredibly stressful and I was constantly stressed out. And throughout that process, I can honestly say that I have not reached a conclusion as to what makes one applicant stand out over the next. The whole pharmacy school admission process will forever remain a mystery to me. But hopefully, by looking at my stats, it can help motivate you to see where you need to go next to build your resume, or it can help ease your concerns as your, and your worries, uh, knowing that your resume is a lot better than mine. These stats did not get me into every pharmacy school that I applied to. If I remember correctly, I applied to around 10 to 15 pharmacy schools. However, these stats did get me an interview into every pharmacy school besides for UC San Diego. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I had on my resume at the time of applying to pharmacy school. So in undergrad, I was working at CVS. I started off as a clerk, and as I worked a certain amount of hours, CVS helped me get my tech license. So I was able to do pickup, drop off, and I filled, and I had that on my resume as a pharmacy experience. I was also teaching tennis at the side in Santa Barbara. I was teaching little kids all the way from five years old all the way to high schoolers. I do have to say that when it comes to coaching little kids about five to seven years old, when I had one or two of them on the court, it was very manageable. But anything over three to four kids on the court they were impossible to control. I was also doing research in a physical chemistry laboratory under Dr. Moskovitz. Uh, we were trying to grow helical nanowires made of gold. Unfortunately, we were never able to publish, but it was a cool experience and it was definitely something to talk about during my interviews at pharmacy school. I was also the president of the UCSB Tennis Club. It was a pretty big club. I had about 70 members, give or take. It was a lot of fun helped me exercise, and honestly, some of the best times I had in undergrad were through this club, and some of the best friends I made in my life were actually through this club also. And for my volunteer experience, I was at Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital, where I was helping bring patients' medications up to their floors and uh, doing other duties around the hospital. And for community service experience, I organized a tennis tournament. I got a bunch of schools in Southern California to sign up, so about 60 people signed up for the tournament, and we raised approximately $1,200 for the National Parkinson's Foundation. And uh, my PCAT score going into pharmacy school was around 98 percentile, give or take. So my GPA when I applied to pharmacy school was not super high. My GPA was a 3.38. It's not a super high GPA, but I'm proud of it because I worked my way up. Towards the beginning of my farm, not pharmacy school, towards the beginning of my undergrad, there were two quarters at UC Santa Barbara where I just tanked my GPA. There were two quarters where I got a 2.57 GPA and consecutively followed by a 2.55 GPA. So the beginning of my undergrad career, I had almost the lowest GPA imaginable. But after that, something clicked and I just worked my butt off and I studied every day and I, I got 3.6s, 3.7s, and 3.5s every or higher every quarter after that. And I steadily raised my GPA back up to a reasonable 3.38. So I'm gonna end this video with two words of wisdom for you guys. One. GPA and school is only so important. What's more important than grades is your personality and your work ethics, 100%. I've talked to pharmacy managers that don't even look at grades. They only look at how this person works and how they work with everybody else in the team and whether or not they get their job done. If there's something that nobody is doing and everybody's just leaving there, will you be the person to go finish that job and take the responsibility and then work extra hard. And two, don't freak out 
you're gonna be just fine. Everybody is on their own path in life. Just because your stats are different than someone else's doesn't mean that you won't do well. You're gonna be just fine. Just focus on your own stats, just keep working hard, and you guys will do great, trust me.